Why does the narcissist call you a narcissist? Why does the narcissist not see that it's the narcissist that's the narcissist? This is upsetting to some people who are in a relationship with a narcissist and that it causes them to really struggle and to be perplexed. But the answer is, is really kind of simple. There's, there's some basic ones that has everything to do with the nature of narcissism. So why does the narcissist not see that the narcissist is a narcissist? Because the narcissist is a narcissist. That's why. Because the narcissist can't see their own faults. They can't recognize that there's something wrong with the way they are. To them, it is the right way to be. It is the only way to be. It is the only way they've ever been. It is the way that they're wired, the way that they see things, the way that they think. So to call themselves a narcissist would be to recognize that there's something wrong with them, but they've got to project out that energy somewhere. And when you can't own stuff within yourself, you tend to put it out on other people. You've got to do something with it. That's called projection. If you've got to take this, this, um, stuff that's going on inside of you and put it somewhere. So why not call the people around you a narcissist? Because especially when you do something that involves setting a boundary and you say no to the narcissist or you question the narcissist, in the narcissist world, you don't have that right. So when you do step up and you say, no, I won't do that or no, I won't talk about that, or no, you can't do that. The narcissist is just, oh my gosh, how dare you? You don't have a right to set boundaries with me. So if you're setting a boundary, it must be because you think you're better than me. Therefore, you must be a narcissist because you're daring to put a boundary up with me and thinking that you're better than me. Does that make sense to you from the mind of a narcissist? Since you don't have a right to say no, you don't have a right to set a boundary, you don't have a right to question, you bet it does. It makes total sense that you must be the narcissist. Otherwise, you wouldn't have said no. You wouldn't have put yourself before this narcissist. And then the other thing is the narcissist doesn't see you as separate. So the narcissist is, is quite frankly shocked that you would even have the ability to say no or the ability to question. You're kind of like an extension to the narcissist. It's almost like you're in the narcissist's arm. And when the narcissist's brain says, move arm, move arm, move to the right, move to the left, that would be my right, my left, opposite to you, I believe, um, You the, the arm goes. Your arm doesn't do something different. If it does, you'd run to the doctor and you'd say, there's something terribly wrong. I, I told my arm to move to the right and my arm moved to the left. What's wrong with me? So my body's not working right. That's how the narcissist is. The narcissist is like, what? You, there. This is impossible. This can't happen. You, you can't move separately from me. This is unacceptable. This is abnormal. What is it? You can't do that. So again, the narcissist is taken back because you can't, you can't not, you have to can't say no. You've just got to go ahead and do that. Um, and then um when the narcissist is ever called out on their behavior, you know, the ang they're angry and they're enraged. So just to throw out at you something that they know might hurt you. Um, since you have maybe called them a narcissist and now they're thinking, oh, well, you know, you dare to call me that. Well, I'm just going to call you that. I'm going to use this against you because I know that you think that that's bad or you think that that's a, a big deal to call somebody a narcissist. So I'm just going to flip this back on you and try to make you feel guilty and call you the narcissist. And that at the same time has the benefit of it being less um having less weight when you turn around and you say to them, no, you are the narcissist. Cause then it's this finger pointing thing. You're the narcissist. No, you're the narcissist. You're the narcissist. It doesn't really hang on anyone. It doesn't really require that anyone uh, take it seriously or respond to it or do something about it when you're both saying it to each other. So there are an awful lot of benefits to the narcissist pointing fingers and calling you a narcissist. It gives the narcissist um, a lot of positioning in the relationship it um but but i think the most important thing for you to know is that 
it really comes out of the narcissist being like surprised that you have a backbone and that you have the ability to say no and that you don't back down and that you are probably separating for the first time in the relationship and it's pretty new and the narcissist is pretty upset at it. So if the narcissist calls you a narcissist, just let, tell yourself, oh, I'm doing something that's getting under the narcissist's skin and the narcissist is recognizing that I'm not going along with everything and that's good. Okay, because that's the beginning. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of pushback, but that's the beginning of you recognizing that you don't have to do everything that you're told to do from the narcissist and that you do have a choice to take care of yourself. Because trust me, the narcissist is not going to give you permission to take care of yourself. You're going to have to be the one that decides that you're going to take care of yourself. The narcissist isn't going to do it. The narcissist is not going to suggest it to you. And the narcissist is not going to be liking it when you do it. So I hope this video helped. And I hope that you um, come back and watch more on my channel. So thank you.